Hi, welcome today. Um, I'm Laura, the spa wellness director here at the Resort of Casa, and today we're going to be making scrubs from your pantry. So we're really excited to be here today. Um, first, we're gonna make a blood orange edible lip scrub. So we're gonna start off with our blood orange here, and we're gonna just cut that in half. And now if you have a juicer, you can juice, use your juicer, but I'm just gonna use my hands, and there's no seeds in these. So I'm just going to go ahead and squish my blood orange scrub here, I mean orange in here for my blood orange scrub. And I'm only gonna use half of this scrub, I mean this orange, excuse me. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put that aside. So orange is actually a citrusy, um, it's a citrus and it's sweet and tangy. So we're gonna add this sugar. Oh, that's the wrong one, sugar here. I'm gonna make sure you use sugar and not salt because that would be really gross for your lips. Um, so make sure you get your sugar. And we're gonna measure out a half a cup of a sugar. And sugar is an exfoliant. So you need, you can use an, ex, um, an essential oil or you could just do this with no orange at all. Um, so basically with our scrubs, what you want is to have an exfoliant, a lubricant, and essential oil. Um, and those could be anything from your pantry. Uh, so like I said, today we're doing, this is a blood orange. So I'm gonna add that sugar in there. And then I'm gonna put this aside. So we're gonna mix this up and see how it's already coming together. Um, if it's too slothy like this, you can add some more sugar because we want it to be somewhat pasty almost because we want it to stick to your lips. So I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time just to get it a little bit more together. And then I'm going to take my tablespoon and I'm gonna put in just one tablespoon of oil. This is coconut oil, but again, you can use any type of oil you have at home. Um, ideally, I like to use coconut oil, um, canola oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil. Any of those oils are awesome. If you have vegetable oil, you can use that too. Just not as good for you as all of those other oils that are pretty clear. So that is your lovely blood orange lip scrub. Really beautiful and frothy. And you can put it in one of your little containers. We have little apothecary containers here, but if you don't have one of those, you can go ahead and use any sort of container that you have at home. Um, and you wanna keep this in the refrigerator because this is an edible scrub and it will go bad. We're not putting any preservative in it. You can put preservative in it. Um, you can find those preservatives online, um, like Fenep, and um, there's um, some other vitamin E that you could put in here that would actually help keep this better, and it keeps a better shelf life. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that in here. And it looks so beautiful, and it's pink. Now, if you are a male child or adult, and you don't like the pink color, you could add food coloring to it too. You can add all sorts of stuff. So I'm gonna put that aside, and then I'm just gonna close that up and put that over to the side. So again, that is our blood orange scrub. And orange is citrus, but it also has an exfoliating property, um, and it also kind of dries things out. So this is great for you to start off with to scrub your lips. So you just put some on a, your finger, scrub it all around, and get into those lip crevices, and then you can just lick it right off, which is awesome. Or you could take a towel and just go ahead and wipe that off. So our second scrub we're gonna be doing today, I'm gonna put this orange aside, is going to be our lemon honey scrub. So lemon, again, is another citrus. It's sweet, it's got a sharp kind of um, taste to it because it's lemon, tangy. So this is our lem Meyer lemon, and we're gonna go ahead and cut that in half. And then we have some honey, which is actually from Hamilton, Montana, made from our local bees. Um, so that's great to have. If you can, you can again buy that at Costco or wherever um, and have some honey that's just store grade. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. This is a raw honey though. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put our lemon juice in this bowl. I'm gonna bring the bowl up here so you can see. And this one we're gonna be doing is a salt scrub. So you just wanna make sure you catch the seeds. You don't want seeds in your exfoliant. Um, just makes it a little bit more grainy. Uh, and then we're going to add in your salt. So 
So I'm gonna use my little measuring cup here. And for this one, we're gonna actually use, we'll use both sides of the lemon, cause we're gonna have, we're using a cup of salt. So if you're using, just like I said, you kind of wanna play with it. You can make it more liquidy or you can make it more dry, your scrub, just depending on how you like your body scrubs. It really just depends on the consistency. But again, um, everything it is, you know, you don't have to make it too exhilarating. You can just figure out what you like to do. And then this is, oops, sorry, wrong one. We're doing salt. This is the salt. So salt, we're doing a cup of salt. Oop, a little salt on the table there. We're gonna do our salt in there. And then we're gonna add our honey. And if you don't have lemon, you have essential oils, you could use that. If you have um, honey, uh, uh, the lemon that you get from the store that's in like one of those little lemon containers that's in your refrigerator, you can use that as well. It doesn't have to be fresh lemon. I just like to use fresh lemon because it's a lot, it's got a better scent to it. And so we're gonna put all that together and then we're gonna add in sunflower oil. So this is sunflower oil. We'll add that in. So we'll just mix that all together, make it into a nice paste. The smell is amazing. Wish we had smell vision here because you would really enjoy the way this smells. And again, you can see how this one is coming together. Just wanna to get it really mixed in there. And lemon helps with physical energy and promotes purification in the body. Uh, so it's very purifying. And you can see that's a really nice salty scrub there. And you can use this on your whole body. You can use this from head to toe. You can use this on your face. Now with salt, salt's a little bit more aggressive as a scrub. So if you have open wounds, don't use it on your open wounds because it will sting. Um, so just be careful of that. But it's again, really exfoliating. So sugar is gonna be less aggressive versus your salt, which is super aggressive as far as exfoliation goes. But really awesome for this time of year where it's spring and you wanna sloth off those dead skin cells and get ready for the summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in our little container here. And again, if you don't have these containers at home, these you can buy anywhere, Amazon, Walmart. Um, really just a fun little container to have to you're not cooperating today. <laughs> and go ahead and dump that one in there. And look how beautiful that is. And again, if you don't like it this liquidy, you can add more salt to that and just make it less um, liquidy. I kind of like mine a little bit liquidy because when I get it on the skin, you can actually really get in there with it and, and you, won't, you don't need to add as much water onto the skin. So when you're typically doing a body scrub of any type, you want to start off with a little bit of water so, and you want to do it in the shower or somewhere where you're going to get salt and sugar all over the place. So shower is the best place. Again, there's oil in there, so it is slippery. So when you're in the shower, be very careful with that. Um, but it's a great way to get that body ready for the summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside here. So we have our two blood orange and our little lemon scrub. And then our last one is going to be a lavender salt scrub, lavender rosemary salt scrub, which is one of my favorites because this lavender is actually from St. Ignatius, Montana. So another local purveyor here in Montana. Um, she provides that to me. Um, and so when you're starting off with an exfoliant like this, uh, with an additive, I should say, um, you want to pulverize it to actually let the essence out. So what I normally do is I either put it in, um, you can put it in a mortar and pestle and just kind of smash it up. You can beat it with a, um, you know, one of your baking, um, you know, rolling pins, um, things like that, just to kind of get the essence to come out. Um, and so you want to do that with anything that's a flower. So a flower or an herb, um, you don't need to do that with your coffee or your oatmeal. You don't need to pulverize it, but you can, if you want to, just to also kind of give it, you know, depending on how aggressive you want that scrub to be. So we're going to start off. I'm going to just put all of this aside here and we're going to start off with our salt. So again, we're going to do a cup of salt. 
And if you want to make more of this, you could just double it up. And again, it's not like there's any real science to making scrub. You can really just use whatever you have in your pantry. Um, so say you don't have lavender, just go into your spice rack and see what you have in there. You can use oregano, thyme, um, you know, um, curry powder. Just say you want a little spicy scrub um, to kind of bring out that, um, the you know, get that blood flowing on the skin. And actually exfoliating anyway does help with the lymph and does also um, help with blood circulation. But cinnamon and curry, things that have, are super spicy, um, can actually help, again, get that blood going. So I'm gonna use this, and then I'm going to actually pulverize these with my hands. So I'm gonna just take these and squish them between my fingers. And just get all of that essence to come out. Um, smells amazing. And if you, again, don't have something, you could go to your garden and just say, you even have like dandelions in your backyard. You could use dandelions. Um, you can use anything that you have in your garden. You could use tomato leaves. You could, all of those things have an essence to them. It's really amazing what you can find um, in your own home or around your house outside. Um, any types of flowers, um, like rose petals. We have rose petals here. Um, mine are dried, but you can use fresh rose petals if you want and just pulverize them a little bit to take out that essence. Um, if you want to dry them faster, you could put them in the oven. Keep an eye on them because they will burn. Um, but I do that a lot with my pine leaf, uh, my pine leaf that I get right here from um, around the resort. And um, you could just take some pine and just put it in the oven and dry it out. It's a really great way to uh, get that essence to kind of elevate. So this is um, our rosemary, which you can see is already pulverized. I have some on the bottom here that is not pulverized. So I pre-pulverized this because um, with rosemary, it's a little bit of a harder herb. Um, and they're part, it's actually part of the mint family. Um, and so you wanna, you can use again, a, a mortar pestle. You could put this in the blender. If you have a coffee grinder, um, just make sure you really clean that coffee grinder after you're done with it, you could put it. Um, so, or again, if you have just a rolling pin, you could put that as well. So again, you can do as much or as little of this as you like. You don't even have to put any essence in there at all if you don't like that. Um, it, you know, you could just do straight sugar and oil or straight salt and an oil. Um, it really doesn't matter. You, so just pick and choose what you like and how much essence you want to put into it. And you can just add those in. So I'm just, oops, going to admit, I'm making a mess here. So make sure when you're around, you have mom or dad around to clean up your mess, help you with your stirring. All right. So that's that. And then we're going to go ahead and add our oil. And lavender is a relax is relaxing. It's an antimicrobial. Um, it helps um, with the immune system. Really great stuff there. The rosemary. This smells so amazing. I cannot wait to try this scrub tonight. And again, it's just coming together. Now, see how it's like that sandy consistency. You can make you can leave it just like this, or again, you can make it a little bit more liquidy, like our other ones that we did here. It really just depends on how aggressive you want that scrub to be. So I'm just gonna mix that all together, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit more oil to it. and just get it all together and look how beautiful that is. Now, this scrub tends to turn almost purple-ish blue when it sits, so it's kind of a cool scrub to see kind of transform. Um, again, these, so the salt scrubs will last a lot longer in the, um, on your, you know, on your shelf. You don't have to put them into the refrigerator. If you want to, they will last a little bit longer. And then what you could do is take it out of the refrigerator, put it in the microwave for a couple minutes or like, a, excuse me, a couple seconds, I should say. And then that way it warms it up so that when you go to use it in the shower, it's not bludgeonly cold when you go to put it on because that would be a little bit too aggressive um, so you can um, go ahead and put them in the fridge you again you can also um, get some preservative that you can put in there as well to just kind of hold it a little bit longer so I'm just gonna add that in here and make it look beautiful 
And then if you want, you can go online or you can just even get like little labels and you can label up your beautiful scrubs with your names of your scrubs on them or you can make up pretty funky names for them. And then that's that scrub. And then I'm just gonna close this up. You just wanna try to pack it in there. You can pack these pretty tight. It actually stays better with less air in there as you can. And that is the rosemary scrub. So again, we have our exfoliants, which are these three here, our sugar, your salt, or your brown sugar. So this is brown sugar. I didn't use that today, but I kind of like, if you, if you have like your cookie brown sugar at home, you can use that. You can see that this one's a little bit more um, granulated. So this is a little bit more coarse. Um, which is a nice way of just getting, again, that more of a, uh, a harsher uh, exfoliant. Um, I use a salt, European sea salt, but again, you can use your salt from just your pantry and sugar that is just a granulated white sugar that I get from one of my wholesale suppliers. And we also, you can get essential oils that you could put in. Um, we like to use a lot of our funky ones, which are like cotton candy, bubble gum. I have some inspiration oil, not using these all together, but um, bubble gum is amazing. And you can, again, make some edible scrubs with these. You can find them a lot on your soap making websites um, because they're technically, most of them have like, um, they're used for lip balm. So they are edible. You don't want to use a ton of that essence because it will make it a little bit too tangy, um, but it's a nice way to just add some essence. And then you also have, again, these additives that you could do. Um, like we have coffee, which is great for cellulite, sage, which actually um, is just an amazing another herb, oatmeal, which is helpful with acne um, and um, also removing excess oil, chamomile leaf is great for relaxation, and you have your rose petal, and then we also have some mint leaf at the, at the bottom here. Um, so you can use any of those types of things that you find at home. Really great to just kind of make your own scrubs. Just make it up as you go. You don't need to make anything. You don't need a real recipe for it. You could just, like I said, you just feel, it's all by feel. Um, how much you want it liquidy or how coarse you want it to be. So I really hope you enjoyed my scrub making today and I hope we see you again. Um, we look forward to having our cupboard challenge tomorrow at 5 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time and 4 p.m. Pacific. So please get in your um, items that you'd like to see us um, do for that cover challenge tomorrow at 5 p.m. We look forward to seeing you again. Namaste.